that's actually touching the thing, and then bring the horn up to you. You've been going down to the horn like it's suspended from some kind of frame, and you have to like reach it. It's like you're at the doctor's office for your eyes, and you have to like make your face go into that thing. Well, that's what you've been treating the horn like. But the horn's not that way. You're the master. You pull the horn to you. So get your head back, all the way back. Now bring the horn up. That's the way the horn belongs, except for it's way too, you know, you want to kind of relax. Also, if your hand is doing this, you want to, you want to just, just, did you swim? Did you have a swim? I did. Yeah, swim. Well, if you swim, you can swim like that. You swim with your hand just like that. And you don't swim that way with your that way. Then it goes into the bell, and let me show you how to know when it's far enough in. If you can stop it without sliding it any further. sliding it any further in. Have you ever stopped the horn before? What? Yeah. You have. So what I want you to do is play the C. Play the C. No, 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 the other one. What I did. Just do what I did. Yeah. Do what I did. I played a C. No thumb. Now, now, now stop it and play it the second time. There you go. That stops right there. It goes nice and tight. Yeah. So that's where your hand goes. See? That's where the hand was developed. I mean, that's why they did it, so they could stop their horn, right? So they could get the new pitches. So our modern hand position is descended from those guys. And that's why we did that. The other thing is, if you have it further out, in your high range, does that. But put it in where I want you to put it and see what happens. Did you hear a difference in the shells just by doing that one little thing? So if you put your hand out here, you're going to have floppy high notes. If you put it where I'm telling you, you're going to have nice and much cleaner high notes. Okay, so, and then, I don't like to see a guy have the horn out here in his face, because what I have found is that the most stable playing you've got is when you anchor it as many places as you can. Frankly, it's even more stable to do this, because then you get one, two, three, four, and anybody that's ever been safe than a three wheel or a, or a you know a dirt bike. Two two wheel motorcycle, if you put a two wheel motorcycle on um, gravel, you'll crash, right? But a three wheel or a four wheel you can get across it safely. Well I want you to be I want you to have more points of contact with the horn. One, two, three. I want you to have three at least, not just two. That way you'll be more stable and you'll miss less notes. So so something very difficult in front of like human bodies like this. Come back, and I want you to play the part you're ready, because you're just too tentative over here. It's like, oh my gosh, I have to 